Chakravati Sihanada Sutta. This city contains a set of seven lectures given by the late Venerable K. Sri Damananda based on this discourse, Chakravati Sihanada Sutta. This discourse, which was given by the Buddha, is entitled The Discourse on the Lion's Roar of the Universal Monarch. Because of the length of the sutra, it is included as the 26th discourse of the Dega Nikaya or the collection of long discourses. This discourse was taught to the monks when the Buddha was staying at Matula in Magadha. Chakravati is translated as universal monarch, while Sihanada means lion's roar, which suggests supremacy, great courage, or fearlessness. The Buddha's preaching of the Dharma has sometimes been referred to as lion's roar because he spoke very confidently, answering questions that are posed to him and winning over his listeners with his inspiring answers. In this discourse, the Buddha spoke about a line of eight universal monarchs who followed the code of the universal monarchs which were to practice and uphold the Dhamma as well as give protection and support to all people, animals and living beings under them. During this time, the universal monarchs were righteous and the people held good moral values and they lived very long lives. However, when it came to the eighth universal monarch, there was a decline in morality. Stealing became widespread because of poverty, and because of that, capital punishment was instituted to punish the thieves. But instead of stopping the thefts, it led to other immoral practices such as killing, lying, slandering, sexual misconduct, harsh speech and frivolous talk, covetousness, ill will and wrong views. Now with the decline in morality, the human lifespan, which was very long at that time, started to decline. Their lifespan became shorter and shorter. When their lifespan became very short, the people fought a bitter war. After the war, the survivors realized the futility of immorality and decided to practice good moral values. First, they abstained from killing, and because of this wholesome practice, their lifespan and beauty began to increase. They then proceeded to practice other wholesome deeds, such as abstaining from sexual misconduct, falsehood, slander, harsh speech and frivolous talk, they gave up covetousness, ill will and wrong views. They showed respect to parents, family elders as well as holy people. With the return to good moral values, their lifespan continued to increase and they lived longer and longer lives. When the lifespan of human beings became very long, the Buddha predicted that the next Buddha, whose name is Maitreya, will appear in the world. <laughs>